Night is falling, again on Treasure Island. Jim Hawkins wades ashore from the good ship Hispaniola, having seized it single-handed from the pirates. Now, as he walks through the darkness back to the stockade, he fancies he's going to get a hero's welcome, for there's not many boys can fight pirates to the death and get away with it. He reaches the stockade and everything is quiet. Approaching the blockhouse, all that can be heard is snoring. Jim tiptoes through the sleeping figures, stifling a chuckle, then trips on a foot. The figure groans, and then... Who goes there? Silver? Bring a torch, quickly now. How did... how did you... what... what happened to... Jim Hawkins, shiver me timbers. Jim is grabbed and a torch is brought, illuminating the blockhouse and showing in its light the ragged faces of six desperate pirates. Silver motions for Jim to sit down, then takes a pipe and lights it. Jim sits. Now, I shall explain. And when I finish, you shall decide whether you be with us, which will be good, or again us, which will be not so good. The good doctor. And Silver explains that as soon as they all saw the ship had gone, he and Livesey had made a deal. The pirates got the stockade, Livesey and the squire got their freedom. Although, Silver says, Livesey didn't seem to mind much about Jim. As for that boy, he says, I don't know where he is, nor do I much care. Confound him. We're about sick of him. These was his words, Jim. That's all there is to hear. Jim has listened carefully through all this, his back pressed hard against the wall. Now his cheeks burn and his heart beats painfully in his chest. Here you are in a bad way. Ship lost, treasure lost, men lost. Your whole business gone to wreck. And if you want to know who did it, it was I. <laughs> you? <laughs> very good. Oh, 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 very good. You hear that, lads? Tis Jim we need to be scared of. <laughs> Pirate Jim, no less. I heard your plans from the apple barrel. I cut the schooner's cable. I killed the men on board. And I hid her. We'll never see her again. The laugh's on my side, eh? I no more fear you than I fear a fly. Kill me if you please. You'll do yourselves no good. But if you spare me, then when you lot are in court for piracy, I'll save you all I can. Jim finishes his speech and sits back, quite amazed at himself. This is not the boy who sat in the Admiral Benbow Inn waiting for an adventure. This is a soul who's lived and is proud of it. The pirates mutter and moan, then step outside for a parley. Silver takes Jim to one side. Look here, Jim Hawkins. You're within half a plank of death, or worse, torture. But I'll cut a deal with you. I'll protect you from the pirates. But only if you look out for me. Of course he can't promise anything. Not one man against the mob. When the pirates come back in, they've made their minds up. And it's just as Silver fears. Now then, Silver, we've had our parley, and this is what we've decided. The boy, uh, Jim Hawkins, he's a meddler. A meddler's as bad as any pirate will tell you. So it's time he went. Uh, uh, to his death, that is. I see. And be that all? Not quite. There'll be one more thing. We'd like you to have... Yes. The pirate walks slowly towards Silver, his hand clasped round something small. He hesitates. Step up, I'll not eat you. Thank you. What have we here? A black spot. <gasps> I thought so. But look at this, you half-wit. Ho oh, ho, this ain't lucky. You've gone and cut this out of Bible. What fools cut a Bible? Oh, what me? You a dick. Black spot cut from a Bible. Don't you lads know that them two counts each other out? Dear, oh dear. Now, for one, we're not killing Jim because we shall need him yet as a hostage. And for another, you're not killing me because I have something you want. Oh, yeah? You've bungled the entire void, Silver. You've got nothing. Oh, but I do, gentlemen. Part of my deal with the good Dr. Livesey, for his freedom, he gave me the stockade. But he also gave me this 
And with a dramatic flourish, Long John Silver takes from his waistcoat a folded piece of parchment. Slowly he opens it and throws it on the floor. Here's your map! The pirates link arms and sing in joy. Silver leans across and whispers into Jim's ear, That's as close to your death as you'll come in this lifetime, young Jim. I'll appreciate it if you'll not forget my hand in your salvation.